Hi, it's Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title, founder of the Titan Academy, and welcome to this mastery session. This mastery session is all about why hard talks build power. The conversation you are most resisting is the conversation you most need to have. What do I mean by that? Well, all too often, we get hurt by someone or we get upset by someone. It could be a work colleague, it could be at home in our family life. And we are almost taught by society not to speak up. We are afraid, you know, of being laughed at. Uh, people think, could think we're weird, we could fail. And a lot of us, we think, well, we could lose the relationship and end up alone. It's fear. And so what it is, it's, it's almost like non-communication born of fear. But great leaders, the best of the best, the most effective human beings on the planet all have one thing in common, and they speak up and they share their truth. And the more you practice, again, the quality of your performance is all about the quality of your practice. And the more you actually practice speaking up when you know you want to speak up, the more you will actually step into your next level of power. And the more you actually betray yourself by not speaking up when maybe someone in a restaurant is serving you and they're not being polite or maybe a client is being disrespectful or maybe someone on the street is doing something that is dishonoring your humanity. Every single time you swallow what you most need to say, you actually lose power. You actually become more and more impotent as a leader, as a producer, and as a human being. I mean, because you know this, we give away our power to the things that we avoid. And so what I want to do in this mastery session is just remind you that the hard talks when you actually speak up are when you grow in power. And you actually not only grow in power, you build intimacy in the, in the relationship. I mean, just think about it. When you actually speak up with someone and you tell them how you're feeling and you tell them what's most important to you, well... If it's the right relationship, one that's meant to be in your life, whether it's professional or personal, that is really a gateway into the other person having the permission to open up as well. And then you have two mature people talking about what's really most important versus sidestepping the truth. So I want to walk you through a number of strategies that will really help you get traction on this concept of speaking up when your voice is shaking, having the difficult conversations so that you grow in your power, you become a better leader, and you become an even better human being. Number one, listen deeply first. So let's say you're having a conversation with someone and you say, can we sit down and talk about something that's really important to me? Tell the person initially what you want to talk about, what's bothering you, and then have the wisdom to listen deeply right after that. And I love this physical cue. I mean, I've seen a lot of the best leaders on the planet. They understand that the best communicators are all about listening, not talking. And they have the physical cue that I've observed. And I just want to offer it to you, the best leaders often do this. When someone else is talking, they go, and that's almost like a physical cue to remind yourself to listen deeply. Because the larger idea is really this. When you listen to another human being from the fullness of your presence, it's one of the high acts of honoring another human being. You want your teammates to grow? Listen to them. You want your children to open up in their love for you, their self-confidence? Listen to them. You want to build a culture of high performers? Stop talking so much and get brilliant at listening deeply. And so this first tactic is simply this. After you've said, well, here's what's important to me and I just wanted to let you know what I've observed, start listening and let the other person do the talking. Number two, remember this incredibly important brain tattoo. You can say whatever you want so long as you say it with respect. That's so important, I wanna say it, suggest it to you twice. You can say whatever you want so long as you say it with respect. I mean, if someone has been rude to you in a coffee shop, if someone has been late for dinner and it's upset you because you believe that punctuality is a leadership virtue, you can say whatever you want, so long as you say it with respect. If your friend is late for dinner 
and it's important to you that they're on time, well, if you lash out at them and say, why were you late? You know, I'm angry. That's going to put them into attack mode, which is going to cause them to be defensive. But if you say to them, you know, Johnny or Ravi or what, Mary, whatever their name is, if you say, you know what, thank you so much for joining me for dinner. Before we get started and enjoy this incredible meal, if I may, I'd just like to share something with deep respect. Punctuality is so important to me and I've been waiting for here for half an hour and your time is valuable and my time is valuable and I'd be ever so grateful if when we get together you would respect my time just like I want to respect your time. You've said it with respect. Look how powerful that is. And if it is a healthy person versus a toxic person, they're going to appreciate you being so truthful. And you're also going to teach them the punctuality matters. So the second tactic is you can say whatever you want to a teammate, to an employee, to a customer, to a family member, so long as you say it with love and respect. Number three, be clear in your communication. A lot of people, you know, we are trying to say something in a hard talk, having a difficult conversation, but we're dancing around the issue. Be clear, be precise. Give examples. You know, say to that person, Here are the, here's what happens when you do this. And here are specific examples. And then you are going to be very clear to the other person. And the final thing is, let go of the issue. Once the other person has understood what's important to you, once you've got it out of your system, let it go and move on with the next level of your day, the next level of the relationship, the next level of your life. There are too many people that are stuck in the past. There's no way you're going to build a gorgeous future if you're living in the past. So I hope it's been helpful to you. The big idea is simply this. Hard conversations build your power as a leader, as a performer, and as a human being. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.